Welcome to The Holy Yogi, where we help you find the guru inside of you. Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. How you doing today? And if no one has told you today that they love you, mwah, let me be the first. I love each and every single one of you because love is the greatest medicine of them all. And love makes the world go round and round and round. And simply put, ladies and gentlemen, love always wins. So what is the Holy Yogi going to talk to you about today? We're going to do numerology, the meaning of the number one. And spiritual meaning of number one, the angel number one. So let's start with the numerological meaning of number one. Number one in the context of you're the one. It's all about you. You're number one. Number ones are leaders. That's the personality of number ones. They are leaders. They are innovators. Number ones come up with new ideas. They come up with um, um, new products, services, information. They are um, bosses. They are owners of most businesses and major corporations and the like. Um, number ones uh, are um, rebels with the cause. Um, they tend to um, chart courses that no one has ever, ever done before. They are looking to really, or let's say something has been done before, but they add their own twist to the point where it becomes even better than the original. <laughs> That's what number ones do. Um, number ones are take charge. Um, they'll be the first in line, okay? Um, they will be um, very responsible too with the respects of that power of having the number one type of personality. Number ones are uh, good with being generous and giving and ambitious and passionate about life and living because number ones are truly the one, the one are truly connected with the most high also. So these innovative ideas inspire them. It, they, it motivates them to accomplish and be the very best that they can possibly be. Okay. Now I want to stay in the positive realm of number ones because they know that they are connected to a higher source and that all is well and that all is good. Okay. Like Neo in the movie, The Matrix, you are the one. They have trust and faith and know that if it's to be up to me mentality, and that's so important for all of us to have. Okay. They know that they are connected with the divine force that 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 is you know fully connected with them now the spiritual meaning of number one is the angel number one and the angel number one um always knowing that the universe god is supporting them on their journey every which way but loose they every day have an opportunity to be born again. It's a new day, new experience, new life, just like it's the new year. You know, newness on a consistent daily basis. They get to start all over. They get to, to rejuvenate themselves. They get to be the most essence of the most pure. Number one, being that connection with being the angel, the number one is, is um, angelic. And, and what is angelic? It is unconditional love. It is pure. It is clean. They got the clean, pure, kind, gentle, given, compassionate hearts. Uh, bliss. You know, nirvana. Um, angels. Um, they just, they bless people just with their presence. And they, because they know that they are blessed. Um, and they're light as a feather. They don't hold any grudges um, and the like. And they're positive people. So there's no negative karma. Light as a, like to say, light as a feather. That's why you see angels as they're flying around. They're, they're enlightened. 
they like lighten up. You know, they're happy, their joy, their peace. You know, their truth, their justice, their righteousness. They get down to nitty gritty of truth. You know what's right. You know values, ethics, morals, values. Everything is completely intact. And they trust and they have faith that um, um, everything they say that, and what they do is of the utmost, highest regard of truth, of justice, of righteousness, of order, of balance, of reciprocity. Um, everything is just absolutely beautiful inside and outside. Um, you know, the rainbow. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just so clear, you know, um, it's like, you know, one, one time, one experience, oneness with the, with the one, <laughs> you know, the best way that I can, you know, describe it to you. Um, so if you are born of number one, or if you do get Num the number one, um, uh, know that it is the beginning of a new opportunity in time. You know, I mean, like right now we're celebrating January the 1st, a new month, new beginning, new month and a new year. Okay. So there's all this newness. So it, it helps you wipe the slate clean of any type of negativity. And so, and I want you to feel that way um, if you get one o'clock in the morning, you know. Um, I want you to feel that way when you see that one, oh, I get to start again. Because you know, just release anything that is not in alignment with the highest and greatest good. And you can do that at every millisecond of every hour. Every, the, you know, we have one second, you know, every 60 seconds, okay? Um, I want you to see that. And I want you to, to have faith in that. Because what they would do is keep you fresh. It would keep you fresh to say, okay, at this minute, I can start again. A new minute, a new minute, one minute, okay? One minute, one hour, one day, okay? So at, at all those pinnacle type of times, when you see that one, ah, I'm fresh, I get new. Because having that freshness, having that newness, that will keep you in the now. That will keep you focused on the positivity because of the freshness, of the newness of it all. And that's what's so powerful. And that's what I want you to fully focus all your energies on. Fully make that commitment to one. The one. The most high. The one omnipotent force. The one God. The one goddess. The one. So, if you find yourself with one, more importantly, be one with yourself. That's it. You're the one. It's all about you. And all the people are just playing a little part in the game so that you never feel alone. You're the one. You're the love that you're looking for. You're the source. You know, you've heard the saying, you can be alone but not lonely. I am alone a lot of the time, but I'm not lonely because I fully understand that I am the light and I am the love and I'm the peace and I'm the joy and I'm in line with the one that I am looking for. Everything that I need, I'm in doubt with and everything is okay and everything is at peace and everything is complete. Solitude, solitude. That's what you get from one. So I want you to become comfortable with that. A lot of people uh, feel as though they have to have a crowd. They have to have a lot of people. They have the approval for somebody else. The only approval you need is approval of yourself. Okay? So, so to become at peace with the one, with you, an acknowledgement of that, that solitude and peace is a good thing. And look at all the positives of it so that you will fully grasp the importance that you're fully aware and fully in comfort of the whole entire experience. So remember, I'm number one. And I'm in line with the one. So I hope you really appreciate this message as far as the numerological meaning of the number one, numerology number one, the meaning of number one. And in addition to that, uh, the spiritual meaning of number one. The angel is number one. Alignment, reset, 
anew. You're light as a feather. You're already enlightened. Enjoy that. And do me a favor. If you like this wonderful information on the daily, what our goal is to do is to do um, a series of numerological numbers on a consistent basis. So come join us again. Like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what number one means to you. And if you were born on the first, the first, the first, the first. Hetapu, peace, namaste. Have a fantastic, fantastic holy day.